Britain could lead the way on international trade and bring Joe Biden's administration in from the cold, ex-Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott has claimed. The politician and current trade advisor to the UK government has said the UK's application to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP, could act as the catalyst to the US joining. America was one of the founding members of the CPTPP's predecessor but Donald Trump pulled out of the agreement. CPTPP is made up of Australia, Brunei Darussalam, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore and Vietnam and accounts for more than 13% of the world's income, covering countries which are home to approximately 500 million people. It is worth £9.7 trillion. If both the UK and the US join the free trade group, it will overtake the economic size of the European Union, Mr Abbott said. Now, it could be that Britain's application to join the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that Japan and Australia both strongly support, becomes the catalyst for the US to reconsider. ATPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, that became a global economic partnership would be an important sign of democracy's willingness to work together at a time of increasing global tension. Trade does mean prosperity, freer trade does mean more prosperity, and freer trade between like. Minded countries will strengthen them in the face of whatever challenges might come. Mr. Abbott made his remarks while giving a speech to the policy exchange on strategic trade. He said the UK and US joining CPTPP would be a vital tool in combating the growing dominance of China by forming a network of similar countries standing up for the rule of law and free trade. Speaking about America's decision to withdraw from the agreement 2017, Mr. Abbott said, regrettably, both sides of US politics subsequently retreated from this because too many American voters worried that free trade had mostly just shifted US factories to China. Formal negotiations on the UK's accession to the CPTPP were formally launched last month. It is hoped negotiations will be complete by the end of next year. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said membership of the trade group would open up unparalleled opportunities for British businesses and consumers in the fast-growing Indo-Pacific. It's an exciting opportunity to build on this country's entrepreneurial spirit and free trading history to bring economic benefits across the whole of the UK, he said. Joining the group has been a key aim of the Prime Minister's administration. CPTPP countries accounted for £110 billion worth of UK trade in 2019. UK trade with the bloc grew by 8% annually between 2016 to 2019. President Biden praised the CPTPP in 2019, saying the idea behind it was a good one and indicated he was open to renegotiating US membership while he was on the election campaign trail. He has not since indicated if any reversal is likely in the near future. Mr. Biden indicated shortly after winning last November that he would not look to making trade deal abroad until the US economy had recovered from the COVID pandemic. I want to make sure we're going to fight like hell by investing in America first, he said in December. I'm not going to enter any new trade agreement with anybody until we have made major investments here at home and in our workers.